You join us this week in Parbold, Lancashire, just after we completed the Wigan flight. Hang on, I need to. Ooh. What did he do? Do me a favour. And he's off. 7.8 miles. You know where you're going? Have you got your phone? I've got my phone. And is it charged? It is. Hall Lane, hey. Yep. Be careful. See you later. See you later. Ah, <sighs> well, what did you think of the Wigan flight? Do you know what? It was really, I think, because of all the help we had, um, Peter and Andy and Trev, um, I actually got to, we got near the end, yeah. and I was like, oh, we're halfway there, and they were like, three locks three left. Locks left, so. It was, yeah, really easy for us, wasn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it was for me, I was, I was steering the boat, but yeah. um, Peter was saying, he, he, he loves it when he hears people say that went really quickly, because it means you had a really good day, Yeah, um, and, we, and we did, we had a great day. Yeah, and we loved it, because the people in Wigan are really friendly, aren't they? And uh, you keep joking, I'm from Wigan, well, that's fine by me, because <laughs> I was born in Billinge, uh, but yeah, the people of Wigan, they were so friendly, and everybody knows Peter, don't they, yeah. going down the Wigan flight, and it was nice to see the town centre, approaching the town centre from the top of that hill, near Hay and yeah. Aspel. Uh, so yeah, really enjoyed it, and we can't believe uh, Peter and Andy jumped on the boat yeah, came, and followed us all the way to Parbold. And then did the locks for us as well, which is yeah. brilliant. So yeah. we got to Parbold, we didn't think we were going to get to Parbold that evening, did we? But no. we got to Parbold, um, uh, it was one of our favourite places, isn't it? We've only come this yeah. way, um, I think we've said before, because we want to put the boat in a marina while we, while we go away and we've got a wedding and we don't want to leave out on the court. Mm -hmm. um, so although we've done this bit before, um, it's a very temporary thing, isn't it? Because we're yeah. actually going to start heading off in a, in a different direction, canals we've not done before. Yeah, so after the wedding, we're going to turn around and head back and continue our journey, probably towards Lim and the River Weaver. Yeah, well, well, well we need to decide whether we're going to do the boat lift, because that, that, oh, yeah. that'd be amazing on, on, would, yeah. to do it on our own boat. If it's open. Yeah, I think it's open. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to book it. I think you can do it on the day as well, yeah. but um, if you book, you're guaranteed a slot. Mm. So yeah, yesterday that was a real Brucey bonus, wasn't it? Peter and Andy getting on the boat yeah. because we just thought Andy was going to come for a ride because he'd never been on a narrow boat before, which yeah. we couldn't believe to Gathurst. And Peter said, Do "You know what? I'll come with you." And he he was just our guide for the day, wasn't he? Pointing out things we'd never noticed before. Well, you'll see that way. as well. Yeah, because he was, yeah. he was really good. And we didn't expect them to carry on doing all the locks for us, so that was yeah, brilliant. It so was big thank you to them and obviously Trevor as well, who took the day out uh, just before their travel plans to come and help us yeah. do the locks as well. But we just want to say thank you for watching and massive thank you to all our patrons. Yep. Yeah, uh, we couldn't do this without you and we couldn't do this without you um, watching our channel. Uh, so yeah, if you've not already subscribed, please subscribe. It really does help. Um, we're really pleased that we got to the 10,000. Yeah. We were just like ages just under. <laughs> yeah. um, so thank you so much for everyone's support and, and getting us to that place. Yeah, and just for watching the channel and just for commenting, please keep your comments coming. We love answering all the comments, yeah. don't yeah. we? Come on. Wait till I get there. <laughs> We weren't actually sure if the chimney would fit under this bridge, so we thought it was best to remove it, just in case. Well, how many times have we been along this canal and didn't realise there was an aqueduct, did we? <laughs> that was thanks to Peter. Yeah, so we're about to go over the aqueduct and when we come back this way in a week or two, we'll try and film it with the drone from the other end because you can see how nice it is from that side. Um, so you can see it from the main road when you're heading into Parbold, but it's so overgrown on this side and then, yeah, you don't you just see the river going down a little valley here, but you don't realise that you're travelling over an aqueduct.
we were left power bold. We've been uh, uh, over the weekend and enjoyed it. And I sold my art yesterday. It was really nice meeting viewers and friends, Louise and Lorraine, we've not seen for years, came to see us. They did. That's really, that's really nice. Oh, I think, I'm sure that's a helicopter. You can tell we're in power bold. Helicopters flying around. Is that posh? <laughs> Should we wait for that helicopter to stop? Didn't sound too well, that helicopter, to be honest, just then. No. Right, so yeah, we just left Parbold. We were going to head back towards a deep lock at Appy Bridge to fill with water. Um, That's the only disadvantage, isn't it? It's, it's, um, yeah, it sort of forces you direction, doesn't <coughs> yeah, it? Yeah, water points. But and winding holes. Yeah, so we, were, we initially thought about coming this way, and then we know the water points at the junction isn't right. working. I don't think it's been working for a long time. Although somebody's <coughs> said it does no, work. Said, no, we said past that. All right. A boat's land past that. There's another right. tap. Which we didn't know about. But also, if we thought, if we go to Bursco Junction and fill with water, we'd have to go to the winding hole. It would be four swing bridges and another two to come back through. And we'd be facing the wrong direction to go down the Rufford branch, wouldn't we? Because we'd want to stay at Latham rather than Bursco. But to be fair, we could have done that and then just winded in that junction. It's a long way, there's a swing bridge and then it's about 200 yards. You can't 200 yards? You can't, what, you're going to reverse through a swing bridge and go 200 yards down the canal? Yeah. No. There's no sense of direction at all. <laughs> You've just no sense. <laughs> In fact, you just know. knocked half of it out without a bloody hatch. I do feel dizzy, I'm still seeing stars. I didn't push the hatch back all the way as I went into the boat to charge the cameras. I'm coming out the boat, <laughs> I've done half my head. You sound like an elderly aunt. I do feel a bit. I'm having a funny turn. I feel like an elderly aunt. <laughs> you won't be disappointed then. Um, someone's going for a swim in a minute this afternoon. Well, yeah, another boat has said, just go this way, so we're going to go this way. The only thing is, there were some stunning bluebells at the side of the canal between Apley Bridge and Harbold. <laughs> I don't think you could have moored there because usually on the offside yeah. it, it's quite shallow and. I don't think it'd be moored there anyway to be able to get it, to be fair. It's a shame, because they are stunning, and the light's just perfect today, isn't it, for filming things. So yeah. we're hoping to see some more bluebells. Uh, we've been promised there are some this way. I will, I will find that boat to <laughs> and have words with him <laughs> if he's making it up. Because the bluebells at the side of the canal were stunning. Anyway, the plan is, I don't know if you've told you this already, uh, we're going to stay in Latham for about a week, then we're going down the Rufford branch, hopefully with some help from our friends, going into Fettler's Wharf Marina while we go away for a few days, and we've got a wedding the following weekend, and then we shall continue on our journey. Right, I should turn the camera around. We've got four swing, sorry, line, two swing bridges today, and uh, I'm not a big fan of swing bridges. That's because you broke it last time. Yeah, especially on the main road, not a big fan. Yeah, in fact, we had to get this CRT out. I know, I'll get anxious, because if anyone's going to break anything, it's me. <laughs> right, see you in a minute. <laughs> That has got to be one of my favourite sounds ever, Skylark. I love the Skylark. <laughs> All aboard the Skylark. Maybe we should have called the boat Skylark. We've already named the boat. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We were starting to reverse and then you did as well. <laughs> Sorry? We were both reversing at the same time. Ah, we were going to let you through. Thank you. I heard the noise but I looked and I couldn't see this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. 
Well, these pillboxes were placed here during the war because apparently the German planes used to use the canals to navigate at night time. Oh no, here's my favourite swing bridge. I do get anxious and I don't know why. Quite easy to operate. Well, you say that, but you broke this last time. Yeah, I broke it. Like, I don't like stopping the traffic on a, bit, a main road, but you know, if they live here, I suppose they're used to it. It's just like us going across the railway crossing, yeah. isn't it? Right, I shall help Anthony because he needs it. <laughs> You're beyond help. <laughs> this is where we didn't have to walk the door because it backfired like that. Yes, right. Yeah. yeah. Insert key and turn clockwise. Wait for the constant illumination of the open and close button. Confirm the bridge is clear of traffic and pedestrians. Press and hold the open button to start the open sequence. Keep the open button pressed until the bridge is fully open. Ah, oh, easy when you know how. But I feel a lot less pressure when there's no traffic waiting. <laughs> I'm just too soft. And we saw Giles Brandreth doing this bridge with no problems. I'm sure he had help though from CRT volunteers. these cottages, the boatman's cottage, the middle one. Ah, what were you saying? So, that thought reminded me, I know I was taking the mickey out of it, but like that fear that you have, or did have at spring bridges. Yeah. I don't know if anybody else has this. You know when you go abroad and you use your coffee machine for the first time in a, in a hotel? Yeah. I absolutely hate it. I hate Same. Oh, yeah. the going coffee and machine. trying to work it out. and The toaster. Oh, the toll's just like really annoying. But you're dead anxious going through the security points at the airport because I watch him and he ducks and he goes through. Yeah, I have no idea why I do that because I'm only five foot four, it's not like I'm gonna hit my head. And he looks really guilty. How he doesn't get stopped more often, I don't know, because you always look dead guilty. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you're always up to something. Oh, I was right? gonna say it's probably because I'm always concocting something. <laughs> not that you've ever been in trouble with the law. I've never been in trouble with the law, no. unlike you. <gasps> I got arrested once. Is that a shock to everyone? It was all a bit daft. I was about 16 or 17 and we pinched a few peas out of a farmer's field. And as we walked away from the farmer's field, a police car pulled up and I just carried on casually walking. So thought it's just a few peas in a pod out of a field. And they arrested me and bundled me in the back of a police car and drove me six miles to their police station. And I couldn't take them seriously, to be honest. That's going to make me sound really bad, doesn't it? It is theft, theft, theft is theft. Theft is theft. Yeah, but to me, it was just like taking an apple off a tree that you're passing on somebody's garden. And I know you shouldn't, you know, it's not like we're pinching hundreds and hundreds of kilos of peas. Uh, anyway, I had to get a solicitor and it went to court and it was so embarrassing. Uh, but yeah, they said it should never have gone to court and I should have just had a warning and that would have been enough because I, I'm such a, normally, such a good citizen. I used to do charity events and had my own business. Oh, I can't believe it. If we lose any patrons after this, I don't know why. <laughs> Anthony, you big snitch. Yeah, that's the one and only time I've been in trouble with the law. But it was great for my street cred because then I would be playing tennis in the local park and people would be saying, is it true you've been arrested, Paul? Nobody could believe it. I was like one of the uncool kids, I should say. Oh, you big snitch, aren't you? <laughs> well, that was your own fault for trying to make out that... And I'm always rooting for the good guy in the films, and I always think, yeah, I don't like any kind of violence, drugs, definitely don't like anything like that. Um, I'm so anti... Well, you won't watch that. films with anything like that, will you? No, oh, no, I don't like it. I love nature. Unless it's, unless it's cheap, like... It's so the Batman films and stuff like that. Yeah. You would watch, won't you? But if it's like... I think, yeah, because the superhero films are based on comics and you just know it's almost like the Tom and Jerry cartoons. It's that... Yeah, but like, you know, gratuitous violence, you don't mind. No, no. 
Anthony loves City Rebels, innit? I don't love it. Just, <laughs> I just get past it. Is that oh, an owl box? Yeah, an owl nest box. I just get past it. It's just, it sort of goes over my head, I think. We absolutely love, well I do, I don't know about you Anthony, all the blossom that's on the Hawthorne at this time of year. Yeah. It's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> this is the bridge where Anthony took the chimney off, because um, it's a bit of a dog leg. And you can actually see the paintwork that's scraped along the sides. Where are the bolts? bolts? Isn't it sticking out? Yeah, and there's I bolts don't know why they sticking don't out. Cut them off. So Anthony ended up in these bushes on your left hand side, and the top of the chimney came off. Someone's really crashed into that. Look at that. I don't know. I can't really see it. You're right, my side. You sure? Yeah, perfect. Anthony. Anthony. I think it's easier to come in this way than that way. That yeah. concrete thing. We're just approaching Latham Swing Bridge. We've moored on this right hand side, haven't we, before? Yeah. The first week we came out, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Matt and John helped us down the Lufford Trench. It's nice, but you've got to noise that road inside yeah. of it. So on your right, this is the Rufford branch. We'll be coming back this way in about a week, won't we? Well, oh, you mean down the Rufford branch in a week? Yeah. I'm trying to think what you, whether you meant like that this way. I think you've had a bang on the head. We've walked past this point dozens of times. I've never seen this water point. I think we're always too busy admiring the bridge work and the pub. Well, us being as organised as we are, we've decided to go down the Rufford branch. Only seven locks, but we're going to go next weekend, weren't we? Only took Paul 15 minutes to make a decision about it, yes Longer. or no. Yeah, because if we reverse all the way up through the swing bridge, it's right next to the main road and it's quiet at night, but like early hours of the day, I don't know if I could cope with that for a week, the noise of the road. And so precious. I am precious. So we're going to go down the Rufford branch. I shall turn the camera around. Which we're actually, hoping. we were going to do, we're, we're, going to we're, we're we'd have to do that anyway, wouldn't we? Yeah. But we thought we might as well have a spot of lunch, there's a real nice pub here yeah. called The Ship and it smells. Amazing. Yeah, I'm hoping to get some lunch. You did say the ship. I did you? say the ship, yeah. Right, just turn the camera around because this looks fabulous. A long time since we've been down this Rufford branch, over a year, isn't it? Yeah. Ah. Oh, here. Yeah. 
get something to eat. Yeah, I can't imagine anybody coming up the lot. Hey? Yeah. We can always, if you want, reverse that once we've had lunch. It's up to you. Right, well a change of plan. We've, oh, we've, well, I we've, don't know what it is with us and food recently. No. But we've we've been to the sh we've just been to the ship and we've been there before. It's like the food was really nice when we've yeah. been before. That was before lockdown, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, it was fairly quiet. There was only a couple of other people in there eating food. So yeah. we placed our order and we sat there for 40 minutes. I took Dexter out because he was looking fed up. I was fed up. We're both starving. We've had no lunch. And then there was a bit of kerfuffle behind the bar. The order hadn't even gone through. So the, ki yeah, the kitchen hadn't received our order, so we've just sat there for 40 minutes for no reason. Yeah. And because Paul's so indecisive, as I mentioned before, we're now having to reverse into the lock. No, hang on, hang on. Let to me get back out. Let me explain. <laughs> I, as Anthony said, should we go down the lock? I thought, yeah. I only did that first lock and I was shattered and there's six more locks down here. Which is fine, so we could have took it in turns. Yeah, but but you, you want to trade at Burscombe. Well, that's so, what I remembered, I was just going to say that. I remembered that Saturday I've got the day off, maybe trade at Bursco and we'd have to come back and do this. So now we're having to burn this back into the lock. Yeah. I don't think I've ever done this before. But Wish us luck. And we're starving. Yeah. <laughs> so tempers might be fraught. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Well, what an adventure that was! Oh, God. <laughs> well, it turned out for water, didn't we? And to well, turn about yeah, And a lot of it's your indecisiveness, it drives me to distraction. I am, I'm not. I am. I am indecisive. I can't help it. It's, it's because <coughs> I'm a Libra. Is anybody else a Libra? And are you indecisive? I remember going into the sweet shop with my auntie when I was little, and I was there about half an hour choosing. What I wanted. Did your auntie lose her with you as well? <laughs> you love it you don't you? <laughs> no. We once went to a bathroom supply place in Liverpool and Anthony really made me blush because we were so indecisive picking a bathroom and a toilet and I said that toilet looks a bit small to me and Anthony then shouted how big's your ass? But she was a bit embarrassed because all the staff was stuck there. <laughs> That's a fair point. <laughs> it was and guess what it was too small. So there is there is an argument for being indecisive, but actually we've had a good laugh, haven't we? It was a bit. Yeah. Well, I was disappointed because I was really I was starving by the time we got to that pub. I know. Um, and and forty minutes later. Forty minutes later, no food. We were slabbering. So we're now having. Well, I'm going to go back to the car. You're going to order pizza, aren't you? Yeah. Um, 
a thin pizza because we're on a diet, yeah. Anthony. Well, to be fair, I'm doing my exercise soon. Well, yeah, actually, we've had no lunch. This will be lunch. We haven't dinner. had any lunch at all, so I'm absolutely ravenous. And yeah. it's what? What time is it now? Four o'clock, isn't it? Oh, 20, no, past, 20 past five. past five. So, yeah, I'm, <gasps> I feel like I'm going to really eat my arm. Yeah. But it was, it was nice to have a practice of the top lock and rough yeah, it and then reverse and out. Then, yeah, practice of reversing. Yeah, but luckily, I, I know this road is really noisy, but just can you, you can't hear it at the moment. Uh, after the evening rush hour is over, it's so quiet. Yeah, it's quiet. dead, isn't it? It's really nice. And there's, there is a lot of places to park my car as well, so yeah. it's really handy for work. Yeah, so, so. Yeah, you're going to cycle back for the car yep. and then we're going to settle down for the evening. So thanks for watching. Take care. If you've not already subscribed, please subscribe. If you've liked the video, like it. And what else, Anthony? If you want notifications, hit the bell icon. Yeah, what else? Please keep your comments coming. Oh, yeah, we love the comments. Yeah, and yeah. a big thank you to all of your patrons. Yeah, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching. Take care. And order pizza. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>